better late than never. Like men were mending the viaduct on the main line, the arches needed to be strengthened, but the fact that China did not want to close the railway while the work was done, and so repairs took a long time. The engines had to take great care when crossing the viaduct, and the delay often made them late at the junction. Thomas was cross. Time's time, he grumbled. Why should I keep my passengers waiting while Henry and James dawdle around on viaducts? Don't blame me, snorted Henry one day. If we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse, and then you'd have no passengers at all. What would you do then? Run my trains on time, for one thing, retorted Thomas, and hurried away before Henry could answer. At the top station, Bertie was timed to arrive just after Thomas. His passengers soon found out that instead of going straight from Bertie to the train, they were having to wait until Thomas arrived. Late again, remarked Bertie one day as Thomas panted wearily in. Ten minutes after time. I thought you could go fast, Thomas. It's time we had another race. I reckon I could beat you now. Thomas went bluer than ever and let off steam loudly. Rubbish! He hissed fiercely. I'd still beat you anyway. It's those mainline engines. They ditter around on their viaduct and then line the fat control's workmen. It's just an excuse for laziness, if you ask me. One day, James was later than ever at the junction. <sighs> I'm sorry, Thomas. He puffed as he came breathlessly to the platform. <sighs> I was hung up at the big station, and the viaduct made it worse. It's lucky for you I'm a guaranteed connection, snorted Thomas. He puffed importantly away, leaving James at a loss for words. Beep, beep, whistled Thomas at every station. Get in quickly, please. The passengers did their best, but Thomas soon found that he couldn't save much time. As they neared the tunnel, Thomas thought he saw a flash of red on the road beside the line. That looks like Bertie, he said to himself, but Bertie should have got to Farquhar ages ago. It was Bertie. Thomas stopped nearby and asked what the matter was. <sighs> I feel dreadful, mourned Bertie, all upset inside. A driver says he can't make me better. Thank goodness you're late. You can take my passengers. C can you, P please? They they'll never get home otherwise. Of course, agreed Thomas. Thankfully, the passengers climbed into Annie and Clarabel, and after promising Bertie that he would send for help from the next station, Thomas set off again. Already, he was feeling much more cheerful. All the passengers reached home safely. And when Bertie was better, he came to thank Thomas. <sighs> I'm sorry I teased you about being late, he said. That's all right, said Thomas. I'm glad I could help. Perhaps being late isn't such a bad thing after all.